We are uh, going to have our next performer who is really inspirational, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to have him come up to the stage as I talk about him a little bit. Carrie Thomas, would you come up to the piano? We had an opportunity. He was my first interview a couple of weeks ago. This man is so together and so on top of it and wants to know uh, what uh, is up next, what can I do for you, what stories do you want from me, and listen, the more I got to know him, the more I fell in love with this man. He's inspirational, he's spiritual. He takes the colors of the world and turns it into art. And it's a really beautiful thing. Hello, Carrie Thomas. Here oh, we are, uh, finally. You're making me tickle. Yeah. <laughs> you are very inspirational. And oh, I loved you. how I got to know you, you because you. you said, when I asked you, okay, what gave you your start in music? How, what was the first thing you did? And you talked about the street and the milk cart. And oh, yeah. What did you tell them what you told me? Yes. Um, uh, Fitzgerald, Pennsylvania, Wiley Avenue, and uh, uh, and it was a it was an extended neighborhood environment. Uh, I'm trying to get these cute little words out, but it was a, full of a lot of people that saw each other all during the the uh, breathing day and night of our uh, community, and it was just lovely. It was lovely. You felt that. There was always somebody there to help you out or point you on the right way. And then there was, in that respect, there was a lot of that uh, that informed you as to how to do the same thing or at least to continue to work on it. And, so it was a good community to yes, grow up in. And you said you heard the clacking yeah. of the wheels of the milk truck. Yeah. And that's when you first heard music inside of your head that yeah. made you start creating. And that's such a beautiful yeah. thing to draw from is the colors and the sounds of the universe. And you haven't stopped. And where was yeah. that? Uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. OK. Yes. Um, and you came to the Twin Cities when? Uh, in 1972. OK. Yeah. And who were you playing with back then? Um, Let's see, when I came here, I uh, ran into James Wall, Jimmy Wallace, and uh, uh, let's see who, this is so weird, uh, some of the folks then. Oh, yes, of course, Gene Adams. All right, okay. And Sam Favors. And, uh, so you were playing music back then. And, uh, starting it kind yeah, of. Yeah, uh, what, what was the name of club that you worked? Um... Well, the, the Rainbow Gallery was uh -huh. when I started. Remember the Rainbow? Mm, yeah, kind yeah. of getting something going. Steve Kimmel was so uh, just uh, open and kind of, uh, he was one of my early mentors, along with uh, uh, people like uh, Reginald Buckner over at the university and that kind of thing. It was, so uh, not only have you done music, but you've done art? That's the thing. Poetry? I'll yeah, I feel a little kind of funny. I, this is a, a jazz, uh, beautiful, and I feel so blessed to be a part of this. But I, I'm one of those funny kind of only children, child kind of guy that I've, I, I've always loved color and writing and music. And, he has a book out, by the way. And food, making food, cooking, and all of that. And... So I never have thought of it as, what do you want? I want to be a musician, but then I want to be a, this, a writer too. Or the, you know, that, it's been that Haven't kind you of had thing. something like 37 residencies in the different art forms, something like that? I, I, I have I'd spent a lot, and that's yeah. just beautiful. Uh, You're going to play some original pieces for us today, right? Yes. OK. Uh, and uh, the first piece? Uh, the first piece is, is Steps. And it's dedicated to my mentor in faith, uh, uh, a gentleman named Daisaku Ikeda. Uh, I'm a, um, a Buddhist, uh, uh, STI, a uh, Soka Gakkai Buddhist, and uh, he is like our, our mentor. And that, okay. so. so steps, and uh, you're bringing a friend up to the stage, too. Yes, oh, yes. 
uh, that friend has fulfilled me a lot of times and move on. Yes, well, keep going, man. Don't, don't sit around now. Uh, Mr. D uh, Donald Washington. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes. He's, uh, Carrie was challenged with something that you may have heard of, but for a man, do you mind if I say? He no. He paralyzed for two years. Yes. And he came back, and he's so passionate about the arts. It probably is what healed you, I would say, right? That's so. Okay. Yes. And you play, and you've taught yourself to play in a new way, and it's all from yes. your heart. Yes. All right. Carrie Thomas. I just everybody. thought about it. I'm saying all this yes and stuff. And I realized I looked around and seen two of these, these two gentlemen right here, also ones that propelled me. Keep on with it, man. Gary Rayner. Yeah, and Phil Hay. Mr. Phil Hay. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And here's you. I, uh, Thank you. We're Thank sharing you. today. So there you go. All right. All right, everybody. Kerry Thomas.
soon uh, we're going to do is uh, um, in, in my generation, uh, this phrase is used on uh, it's called it's called makeshift. And so this piece is called makeshift.
Kerry Thomas, joined by Donald Washington, everybody. Thank you, my dear.